Alright, hey, hey, it's Mega here. I'm going to upgrade the USB charger on my Suron Lite B today, okay? So, um, I still gotta install a charger for this bike, but, um, yeah, these are my two delivery bikes right here, so they have to have USB charging so I can charge my phone while I'm riding. Um, alright, so I'll show you uh, what I'm gonna upgrade it with. Alright, there it is, this is it. It's a, uh, Rolaz USB dual quick charge black frame. Okay, there it is. Let's go open it up. I got this for eighteen dollars on eBay. Okay, and I say upgrade because um, the the charger that comes. It's great that the that the light B comes with the charger, but it's not a very good charger. It doesn't charge. The, it doesn't charge a smartphone very fast is the problem, okay? So. so there it is. And it comes with some uh, a wiring harness. However, we're not going to use it because we're just going to use the one that's already on the light B. I think this should be a really easy install, okay? It also comes with a voltmeter too, so you can tell how much your 12 your DC DC converter is putting out. I don't really need this, but whatever. <laughs> and it comes with two USB outlets, okay? So there's the, the weather cover right there. Just flip this up, and then you get your quick charge USB ports right here. Okay, and then there's a voltmeter right there. So, uh, and so it should be, it should pretty much be plug and play, okay? There's a little gasket here. Oh, the gasket's this part of this. Right, and this is a little nut to put it on. Okay, and then the pot, there shows you that there's a positive here and there's a negative here, okay? So uh, let's go. Uh, let's go install it. I think it should just plug right in. I hope. <laughs> Look, I think this is a pretty standard size for. I think this is aluminum also. Yeah, I think it is aluminum. Yeah, it's a little nicer. But yeah, the stock one doesn't charge. Doesn't have a quick charge uh, USB. So that's why um, when I'm riding, it just I can see the. Um, I can see the battery state of charge on my phone just slowly go down, so <laughs> so it's not very good at all. All right, let's be out. Okay, first thing to do, remove the keys. Okay, remove the old USB cable. I uh, remove the USB cable from this because we're gonna install a new one. And then it's, uh, I believe it's just these two screws right here, and then the whole thing comes out. Okay, okay. So what we gotta do is. You might have to flip the battery door up and let's take these bolts out first. I've already changed so much stuff on this bike already. That's not the stock ignition by the way. <laughs> okay. goes. This little rubber booty is stuck on here. All right, pretty simple stuff. So there's um, but first you're gonna want to note the polarities. Okay. Okay. So here's the uh, the back side. Um, this is the positive. Okay, and I think I marked it already, but yeah, if this is to be safe, I would mark it, you know. Um, the positive one has this t white tape on it, okay. 
unplug this. Okay. So this is the positive one. Okay, and the negative one doesn't have anything on it, okay? That's the way that's the way I have it, but make sure it's a good idea to just label it, put a piece of tape, put positive or negative on it before you pull it off. That way you won't forget, okay? Okay. okay the negative is the gold side. Okay, and then, and then we're going to have to take this little ring off. Um, I think we can get some pliers or we can use a uh, kind of like a spanner or something. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, I got this tiny spanner wrench. Maybe it'll do the trick. Yep, sure does. All right. Uh, alternatively, you can get like a screwdriver and just hit this and it should come loose. Okay. Let's untighten that. It's probably this old USB port's probably all beat up anyway. So. Oh, it's keyed. It has a little key on it. This one doesn't. This one is just round. I don't think this is gonna fit. <laughs> okay, guys. I think we're gonna have to. We may have to modify this or modify this. I think it'll be easier to modify this. So. Well, it's not quite a complete bolt-on, but if we if we do want to change it to another one of these in the future, I think it's better to just modify this. This just will not fit in there. See. Okay, so I'm going to go get the Dremel, and then we're going to grind this so it, this fits. Uh, unfortunately, it's not complete bolt-on, that's what I want to say. All right. Okay, here we go. I got my safety glasses on. I'm going to be grinding this. Okay, and uh, don't worry, you'll be able to still be able to install this. It'll just spin now, that's all. <laughs> just make sure this the nut is on there tight. I think that should be fine. Didn't take long at all. Okay, I'll just do a quick test fit. Bam, there you go, perfect. Just gonna take some of this extra off. It's nice and clean. Doesn't matter. It's gonna cover it anyways. Okay. Um, all right. So I think the positive was to the right. I think you can install either way you want, man. This doesn't matter. Uh, let's try. I'm gonna try it the right way up. Looks like it fits pretty well. Okay. Just gonna make sure that prongs are up and down. The good thing about the other way is like, yeah, you, you know you're installing it the right direction, you know, but there's only two ways you can install it. This one you can install it infinite amount of ways. <laughs> This thing moves too. Okay, this one. Okay, I'm just gonna do it hand tight. Okay. And so, if you remember correctly, the one the one I didn't have labeled was the negative, and the one that I had labeled with the sticker here or with the. Um, the tape, okay, the tape this is the thing, okay. All right, and then we're just gonna put it back in. Yeah, I kind of like, I kind of like it having the, the little rubber thing on the bottom, but let's try it out like this first. back. This 
this thing never wants to go back in the way it came properly. Keys. So how did that? How does Hades Omega know that the what kind of voltage this thing runs off of? Well, it says it on the original one right here. Okay, it says the input is 12 or 24 or volts DC. Okay, and the output is 5 volts, 2.1 amps. I think this one is about 3 amps. Okay, I think it should be fine. I hope. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully, it doesn't blow any kind of fuse. All right. So here we go. There we go. Power's on. So instead of having the blue glow, it's got a uh, it's got a voltmeter on it. Okay, guys, pretty cool. Twelve point three. So uh, let's actually test it out too, though. Yeah, it's kind of annoying having this here. I think I want to put it on the bottom. I might. You can actually move this gasket. I think so. I might take it out and move it again. But this it says voltmeter right here. So here's what it looks like with the cover on it. It's kind of hard to get in there. But yeah, you should have you should definitely put that cover on there whenever you're oh yeah, I think it should go the other way because this thing gets in the way here and it keeps leaves it open. You definitely want to have this cover on if uh, if it starts raining or something, okay. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm just going to flip this. I'm going to take it back out, loosen the thing and then just move this cuz this is a little it's a little rubber gasket thing is all it is. Okay. That's why they have it on the bottom so it doesn't interfere with this. Okay. But yeah, that's what it looks like. All right. Okay, there it is. So uh, yeah, I, I I flipped around. I flipped this this around here. So if I want to use it, I got to take it off like that. Okay. But, but it still works. It's just this voltmeter is like upside down. Okay. Okay. So we'll go fire it up. Yeah, the key kind of blocks it too. So. There it goes. So I'm putting 12.3 volts right now. Okay, let's see if it actually works. Put my phone on the mount here. And then we're going to plug in the USB to it. The nice thing is, I guess we can you can put it on the top or the bottom, whichever one you want. Let's try the top one. Plug it in. There we go. It works charging and she's charging at it's fast charging okay so you can see the fast charging symbol right here it also says fast charging right down here okay so cool there we go I just upgraded my uh, my USB charger on my Soron light B to a uh, quick charge uh, USB it wasn't too hard. Um, we had to modify. Yeah, we had to modify this. I guess if you could find one of these, one of these kind of round quick charger dealies, um, you could probably. Um, oh, if you could find one that's flat like this, then it, then you could install it without modifying it. I didn't know that this was like this. So, so all I did was I I ground I grinded the sides around it. Okay. I ground it. I grinded the the sides around it so it would be round and then it would just go right in okay I just use a Dremel tool to do that okay so that was the biggest that was that was the only thing we had to modify other than that it's pretty much plug-in all right and I like I said I got that for $18 I got that from $18 on eBay okay and it comes with a little voltmeter too so so like it doesn't have a little light on it anymore but but I guess the voltmeter acts as kind of like a light Okay, thanks for watching. That's how uh, that's how Hades Omega upgraded his USB charger on his Suron Light B. All right, Hades Omega out. All right, Hades Omega here. So I just got. I'm pretty close to ending dash right now, and my phone is at 91% state of charge. Okay, so um, the uh, the quick charger works good. All right, um, it really fast charges my phone. Uh, I think when I started, I purposely started at a lower state of charge. Yeah, so I, I purposely started at a uh, lower state of charge 
and um, so so we could char see if I could get it charged up along the way and it went from like 70% to like 90%. Generally what's been happening with the Suron charger is that like it hasn't been charging at all. It just kind of just depletes a little slower than normal. <laughs> so so it, this one the, with the quick charger it actually is charging while you're using it, okay? So that's a good thing. So it works very good. So that, that's that's one thing I want to report. <laughs> also, oh yeah, another thing I want to report is this uh the LED, the, the voltmeter, is so bright. It's really, really bright. It's hard to take a picture of it because it's so bright. And I can, I can see it in sunlight. Look at that. Unlike the NXT display or the Drock, the Drock uh, battery, battery meter. Yeah, the Drock battery meter is kind of hard to read sometimes. Like, I can barely make that out, but I can make that out. That says 66 and 75.8. That one just says 12.2. Perfect. So I, I am very happy with this Rolla's uh, quick USB charger, okay? And it has two. It has two USB ports. So, you know, when one goes bad, then I can use the other one. <laughs> Basically, I think the port is going bad on my, my, my Sauron one. Uh, because sometimes sometimes I'll catch it, it, like the little blue light is not on and I'm writing. I'm like, hey, how come the USB thing isn't working? So I think the port is getting loose or it's just, you know, it's just getting old, you know. So I just... Uh, that's how it is. <laughs> All right. So that's just uh, just a little clip I wanted to add to the end of the video. The charger works great. All right. It's still at 91% though. I haven't seen it move while I'm making this vlog. So. All right. Here's the go. It does quick. It does fast charge. It does say it fast charges like it. And I'm using. I'm also using a magnetic cable also, and it's it charges fine with it. So. Awesome. All right. Here's the go. LG, uh, I'm using an LG V30 also, by the way. I know it's kind of an ancient phone now, but it was the best of its time, so <laughs> it's, and it still works great, so. All right, here we go.